Norway Chess 2013. And well, maybe let's let's have a look at the uh, the opening moves of mm. Magnus's game. I, th is, I think is, is, is Carlsen again. I guess we have to follow or what? We are in Carlsen country, so yeah. uh, in in that case, it's not such a bad idea. And, Carlsen and against Raj, against Raja both. And that, that definitely promises. Uh, well, there is some uh, some intrigue there. Yeah. Uh, to me, it seems like Rajabo has big complex complexes against uh, Magnus. Mm -hmm. Magnus has beaten him so many times, and uh, it doesn't look like Rajabo plays uh, at his ordinary level. And he plays Magnus, mm -hmm. <laughs> and which is good for Magnus. Yeah. And you, th yeah, that's that's a purely psychological thing. You think? But uh, Rajabo is of course available to beat anybody. I guess so. He beat Veselin Topalov in the first round, who is not uh, well. He was a former world champion and um, a player in great shape lately. So, um, are they? Yeah, they are about to start. Uh, so, w are you going to follow uh, I'm, I'm Magnus's game? I'm open Magnus game. Okay. Game, I think. Let's see. So, uh, when something happens, uh, we will be there and catch it. Well, he takes off his jacket, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how many people follow this, but it's actually India against China on the on board three there. Mm -hmm. Another against Wang Hao. Yeah. Do you think there are many people from India and China following their heroes? Well, if it's only a percentage, we'll be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, mm. yes, but I, I, I think many people there, are, particularly in India, but, uh, How many do you think there are following um, Anand and uh, now Wang Hao when they play tournaments like this? I think with Anand it's, it's a lot here. I mean, he's really very popular in his country. In, in China, chess is relatively small. Uh, it's so I I'm don't expect that too many people follow that, apart from the, well, the in crowd. Mm. But uh, in, in India, yeah, you, you see, well, you meet an Indian and you ask, do you know Anand? And chances are very, very that he that they know him yes uh, with uh, with the Chinese chess players I think your chances are much much lower mm. so uh, are they moving no let's just start it now okay now the show comes they shake start. hands mm -hmm. and oops there goes Magnus's knight to f3 do you do you get the game uh, there I don't know what here, here it comes oh Good. there yeah there it is oh yeah I've got a copy if you that's um, what you do. Mm -hmm. um, a slow start, very slow start, actually, from Magnus. Okay, he has a fianchetto of both bishops. But that's the good thing about Blitz, that uh, even even slow starts, they look fast. They, uh, yeah, at least they, they, yeah. they go quickly. That's the um, way Magnus plays these days. He, he plays, mm. it's, uh, he always plays very slowly, actually, mm. which is a bit surprising. Yeah. This is the best in the world, but that's his style. Yeah. Okay, so um, so what are his plans here? I wish I could get um, the games up here because. Uh, Which game do you want to go to? Uh, well, there's the game live. Uh, I don't get it on my analy analysis screen. But but most of the yep. it's not possible really possible to analyze anything any uh, with sort mm -hmm. with blitz anyway so it doesn't really matter we can just following follow it live okay and uh, um, well so what what's happening in Magnus's game are you still moving. That's just very, very slow, and there's mm. absolutely nothing to that uh, mm. says that Magnus should have, have any advantage whatsoever. Mm. Um, actually, to me, it looks like actually black is a bit better with mm. the space advantage. Okay. Well, then, uh, both players who, uh, who lost in the previous round are playing each other, so they... Uh, it's uh, Jan Ludwig is playing against Veselin Topalov. Yeah. Jan Ludwig, uh, that's interesting. Uh, to me, it seems like uh, Jan Ludwig has started very well. Thank you. 
picture it might be worth having. It had been well understood by the scientists and philosophers of classical antiquity that the Earth is moving to a point in a vast, encompassing cosmos. surprise me if, if he did but from the beginning it looked like absolutely nothing but now he seems to it might be something some now because the pawn mm. of b4 is a little bit weak mm -hmm. and uh, Russia bow um, uh, uh, the pawn oh. on b4 is weak mm -hmm. and Magnus has got the, uh, the a line mm -hmm. And uh, actually, the pawn on d5 is weak as well. Oh no, it becomes mm. uh, interesting. <laughs> That's an interesting decision to yes. take these doubled pawns. That was special. I'm not sure that was good, to be honest. You mean special is not always good? But <laughs> uh, it, it wasn't a natural move to take with the e pawn on d4. But he will have had a clear plan with this. Or you thought it was instinct? Yeah. Uh, Magnus plays on instinct. Yeah. Uh, well, so far his instinct has not uh, uh, disappointed him. But so what's this? Is, isn't Magnus just losing a pawn now? Um, uh, he's oh, 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 he's going to double on the second rank, on the seventh rank. So mm. And that might be something, but not for very long because now mm. the one rook is disappearing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and well, with only one rook, it's very difficult to double rooks. But this so is actually a little bit double edged because mm. there might be something with knight e5, and, and uh, Magnus has to take that one on mm -hmm. d8 and, and then follow up with um, rook a7, maybe, mm. or knight e5. Yeah. I think in uh, Jon Ludwig's game, things have not gone too well. It's very similar to a, a very classical uh, uh, pa pattern game uh, with Capablanca, mm. I think. Yeah. And unfortunately, You're Magnus is on the, on the wrong side. Oops. And what's the result? Uh, Black won that game. So I think ah. Magnus is actually in trouble mm -hmm. just by... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm on one against Wang Hao. All right. So happiness in India. The, um, the world champion well, scores his first point, well, which is not that much of a surprise because he's an awesome blitz player. So, 
and another black win. Peter Svitlow wins against Aronian, so that's... Uh, so Aronian is not having a good start. Yeah, that's... But of course, Peter Svitlow can beat anybody. Of course, he's six-time Russian champion, <laughs> which is uh, not something everyone can say. Yes, and that uh, explains. Uh, that actually says a lot because uh, mm. there is a reason for him winning all those titles. Yeah, but he's he's often forgotten what people are talking about the uh, let's say the, the the greatest Russian players at the moment. But of course, he's he's a, a formidable player, mm. and uh, as we could see in London at the candidates tournament where he did so well and finished only half a point behind uh, Magnus and uh, Kramnik. So, um, so how is Magnus doing? Uh, Magnus is fighting for a draw. Mm -hmm. And so is Jan Ludwig, and he's fighting very well, because it is a perpetual right away. Oops. Excellent. There is no way Black can get away with, uh, with that one. Well, that was a turbulent game. I mean, <laughs> I mean both of them winning at some point and... Uh, oh no, mm. Magnus is, uh, is losing. Uh, unless he has... Uh, uh, that's mm. that's losing. This uh, Magnus is mm. losing. Whoops, that's a tough one. Mm. No doubt about that. Uh, it's resignable. So Rajabov has some small revenge for the the loss that he suffered in the penultimate round in in London. That very very crucial game for Magnus. And uh, yeah, this is clear. Oops. So um, okay. that's not a very good start <laughs> for. Uh, that's a reminder because. Mm.